Head on to our weekly feature, Smart Farm. And Kenya has embarked on a plan to promote cultivation of underutilized crop varieties, especially in the wake of climate change effects. Among the key crops under the plan is the finger millet, which is gaining popularity, especially in the western part of the country. As, as our Dennis Otieno reports, farmers in Busia County are now cultivating the crop on small holdings for both subsistence and improved income. Take a listen. Smart Farm, brought to you by Equity. Bustika from Equity ensures that you don't get stuck when low on cash. So, next time you're sending money, making payments or buying airtime using Star 247 Hash, Equitel or Equity Mobile app and you have insufficient funds, simply accept the Bustika prompt and complete your transaction. Food on the table and money in the pocket. This was the clarion call given by Wilson Odori, a smallholder farmer, when he began cultivating finger millet crop two years ago. Odori, who lives in Sikoma area, Butula sub-county in Busia, grows several other crops, which include assorted vegetables, sorghum, cassava and maize, on select portions of his three-acre farm. But it is the finger millet that changed his fortunes. Carlo. Dio walinishawishi kupanda mtama, huu mtama wa, wa muda mfupi kukoma. Natoa mtama mwenye umesha koma katika shamba hili. Nilipanda robo eka. Hii ndiyo mara yangu ya kwanza kupanda huu mtama huu mfupi. Lakini kwa napanda mtama, lakini ili ya kienyeji. Lenye naenda kwa muda mrefu wa miezi ne tano. Kwa naupata ki, kiasi kidogo sanai focus kwa chakula tu. The Kenya Agricultural and Livestock Research Organization, CALRO, has been at the forefront of promoting underutilized crops in a bid to reduce reliance on staples such as maize. An underutilized crop refers to a plant with limited current use but with potential to diversify and improve cropping systems. CALRO has reached out to farmers like Odori on the benefits of commercializing such crops. It is one of the crops which are being called as underutilized crops in Kenya. But because of the climate change, previously in the Kenyan, Kenyan population, they are depending on this maize as the main staple. But because of the climate change, maize has been hit by many diseases and so drought is not tolerant. So they need to promote these underutilized foods. Being a climate smart crop, finger millet has the ability to grow under adverse agroclimatic conditions. It is ready for harvest between three and a half and five months after sowing depending on the variety. It is usually harvested by hand, by cutting the seed heads or by cutting the entire plant. So far, Odori is encouraged by the earnings he gets after harvest. A kilo of finger millet is now retailing at 85 shillings, better than sorghum, which costs an average of 50 shillings. Huo mtama nanilia kutumia kama chakula kwa nyumba, ugali na changanya na mihogo. Sana sana ni chakula na kipato cha senti. We import over 50% of our wheat flour. So if you can make finger millet, you mix with wheat flour to reduce that expansion on wheat flour. And that's why the Kenyan government they came up with the flour blending policy, trying to replace, to minimize the utilization of maize and wheat. By, and the foods of target for blending, a finger millet, sorghum, cassava. The potential of millet as a super crop is now in the limelight, as witnessed during the recently launched Millet Innovation Competition in Nairobi. The initiative, which is a partnership between Unilever Kenya and the University of Nairobi, aims to inspire the most inventive university students to develop sustainable and innovative products based on millet. If you eat finger millet, it's one grain that no pest eats. Once you harvest, there's no storing with pesticides, like super telic or anything. You leave it and it stays until when you want to eat it. No pest eats uh, um, finger millet, so it's kept for us, it's preserved for us. And then the beauty of finger millet, 
for farmer safe seed is that you can keep it and it remains viable to 15 to 20 years. So you don't need any special storage. We as a country, maybe uh, consumption levels of um, uh, millet related products, uh, for example, uh, maybe porridge, uh, maybe uh, bread and cakes made of uh, millet, uh, we are not consuming more of this. So uh, it remains underutilized and uh, there is a great potential. And when we see uh, these partnerships coming up, where there's interest from uh, processors, from off-takers to uptake uh, uh, millet, then it offers us an opportunity as a country uh, to go back and uh, increase production of finger millet. Millet, as you know, has been there for, a, it's an ancient crop. And for that, we call it the ancient orphan crop. It is a crop that has been neglected or forgotten for that, uh, for lack of a better word. And we are trying to sensitize the public from the farmers to the end users that this is a great, great, great uh, product. According to Calvo, finger millet production in Kenya is estimated at less than 70,000 tons per year, while its national demand is roughly 140,000 tons per year. Denis Otieno, Smart Farm. Smart Farm, brought to you by Equity. Usikwame Bustika na Equity. Dial star 247 hash, use Equity mobile app or Equitel and enjoy an instant cash boost of up to 100,000 shillings with a repayment period of 30 days and you can top up multiple times to complete your transactions. Biashara Usikwame Bustika na Equity.